hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brooklyn. I am a first year kindergarten teacher in Middle Tennessee and today I wanted to talk a little bit about my goals for 2023 and this is going to be career, personal, health, education, um, fun, just all of it. So let's get into it. If you're not already, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all the content that will be coming soon. And now let's get into my goals for 2023. So the first category we're going to talk about is career. So if you don't know, I'm currently teaching um, at a school that's about an hour away from my house. Um, I'm teaching kindergarten. I'm an interim teacher, I, but I got a email a little bit ago, a day or two ago, that my contract is extended until the end of the school year. So I'm not sure if the teacher decided not to come back. I know um, she's out for medical reasons, so I guess I'm taking over her class till the end of the year. So I guess I'm not technically an interim but I'm kind of an interim teacher. Anyway, it's an hour away from my school. I don't, away from my house. And I don't like being so far away. So one of my goals this school year, or this calendar year, 2023, is to finish out my year at this district and school that I'm at currently, and then hopefully move closer to home next school year, um, teaching either in the district here, or if I decide to move somewhere else, teaching in a district that is closer to my house and at a school that is much closer. Also in career, I want to change the grade I'm teaching. Um, I'm currently teaching kindergarten and I'm finding it a little rough just with, um, you know, behaviors and um, trying to get them that foundation that they need that they will carry out through the rest of their school career. I'm finding it a little more difficult than it, um, it was when I was in third grade. So I am hoping next year to maybe move up to first, second, or maybe even third again. Even though the first time I did third, I didn't think I liked it. And now I'm actually kind of really missing third grade. So, you know, moving up in my career either to first through third grade would be preferable. But, you know, with teaching, you never know what grade you're going to get, honestly. So those are my career goals. Now we're going to go on to my education goals. Um, and actually a career goal that I have that's also an education goal is to get my license to teach. If you didn't know, I am currently on a permit to teach in Tennessee. Um, I didn't do my student teaching, so um, I can't have like a full blown teaching license yet. I have to go back to do a job embedded um, teaching program as a teacher of rapport in order to get my license. So one of my goals this year is to start my master's program, which will then allow me to get well, which will also be a teacher prep program so that I can get my full license and be completely licensed in Tennessee and not have to um, get another permit, hopefully. Another education goal I have is I want to further my knowledge of classroom um, management. That's one thing that I really am kind of honestly struggling with. So um, one of my goals this year is to read some books on classroom management. Um, if you have any recommendations for that, please leave it down below in the comments because I will definitely look into it because... <laughs> I'm open to any ideas at this point. Also, while we're on the topic of leaving recommendations down in the comments, I want to hear what some of y'all's yearly goals are, um, be that, you know, career, education, whatever it may be. I really want to know um, what you guys are looking to do this year, so leave it in the comments below. If you really are looking to further your education and career this year, I have actually been able to partner with um, Sophia Learning. They are a program where you can go online, fully online on your own timeline, um, pay a monthly fee, and you can actually take courses um, for gen eds, um, general education credits. And you can take those online at your own pace at a monthly fee. And then Sophia has partnered with over 40 um, partner universities and colleges that have agreed to accept those transfer credits 100%. So there's none of this, you know, oh, I took all these classes and now I want to go to an actual university and none of my credits transfer. That won't happen with Sophia as long as you do it with one of their partner um, universities or colleges. Or there are some students who actually go to Sophia, Sophia University and don't transfer them to a partner college or university. They just transfer them to a regular one um, and they accept them. But if you're going to do that, you might want to check in with your university you're wanting to transfer to in the future as well as Sophia to see if that transferring will work out. If you are interested in um, learning more about Sophia Learning, there is a link in my description down below that you can click that will um, allow you to enter your email address to get some more information as well as just take you to an information page. So if you wanna do that, just click the link below. 
And if you decide that you want to enroll, I have a 10% off discount code that I will leave right here, as well as down in the description that will get you 10% off. And that discount code is Brooklyn 10. So those are essentially my education goals. And then again, I want to hear about yours. If you're interested in Sophia learning, um, if you're interested in doing another college or, um, university this upcoming year I want to know because I love education obviously I'm a teacher um, and I just find it really fun to see people pursuing their careers and um, I know in my last video I posted about me wanting to go back for my master's and so many people have already commented saying they're going back for their master's and I just love hearing about it so don't forget to leave that down below because I would love to read it on to our next category of 2023 goals um, this area is financial so it's not something I'm going to share specific numbers in or anything like that but it's just something that I want to record so I can hold myself accountable to it in the future because honestly I love going places traveling I love um buying things for friends not even for me I just love like giving um like gifts I'll like see something in the store and I'm like oh that would be a great gift for so and so and I'll just grab it and go give it to them which is great in theory but like whenever you look at your bank account it's not so great so I have a couple of goals that I want to meet um, this upcoming year financially and I'm going to look down at my computer while I'm saying them because I want to make sure I'm wording them correctly but my first goal is I want to get a savings built up um, I'm only 21 I've just been out of college like a little bit and I don't really have a good savings account built up and um you know being 21 and starting to become a full-blown adult you know having a big girl job and everything I feel like that's something that I really need to obtain this year the second goal that I have for financial is I want to pay off my car. I bought it um, straight out of high school, the summer of my high school. I got a scholarship from my school for um, um, yearbook. I was on yearbook all four years, so I got a thousand dollar scholarship, and it was able. I was able to use it for anything school related, and I didn't have a way to get to school because my car that I was using currently was like on its last life it was not a good car so i need a new one so i bought one my senior um right after my senior year with that scholarship money um i put my down payment on it so that i would have a way to get to school and um i think i have about a year and a half left left to pay on it but i want to go ahead and try pay it off this year so i don't have to worry about it in the future another thing is i have some other bills that have you know gotten since being in college um a student loan couple credit cards that I've had to use you know here and there when I wasn't able to find a job or wasn't able to work as many hours because of school so I want to get all of that paid off this year um, I don't kind of give you specific numbers on that because it's kind of embarrassing but um yeah those are some things I want to do this year financially another I guess you could say financial goal my last financial goal I guess you could say um is I want to save up enough money and get a good income coming in so that I can move out of my parents house like I said I'm 21 my parents would have me stay here the rest of my life if I wanted to um my sister's a couple years older than me and she still lives here which is amazing we have a lot of space here thankfully but I just kind of want to go out on my own and you know start living my adult life um on my own and kind of taking responsibility for my finances and stuff like that so this year one of my financial goals is actually to hopefully move out so that's all my um financial goals now on to my personal slash health goals so my first one is I want to eat better. Um, I don't really want to go on a diet because I don't know, just like really restrictive diets I know aren't good for you mentally, physically, emotionally, anything. So I don't want to go on a diet per se, but I do need a lifestyle change. Um, not only for my physical health, like, you know, heart rate and weight and everything, but also for my teeth. I have very small, soft teeth. And um, I went to the, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you how many cavities I had, but I went to the dentist last week and I had a good amount of cavities. And I haven't changed my eating in any way, but um, I have turned into a night snacker. I'll like bring a snack with me to bed and like eat it as I'm like, you know, drifting off, which is not good. I know it just sits on your teeth and like, ugh. And like sometimes I'll be like, ooh, I need to go brush my teeth, but sometimes I'll forget. But um, my dentist, you know, you have a bad diet when your dentist literally tells you this. He told me, you gotta, stop eating so much sugar you got to change your eating habits so I did have a few cavities I have to get those filled in the next month or so so because of that as well as just wanting to be healthier and live a healthier lifestyle I do want to change my eating habits and just eat a little bit cleaner and healthier along with that one is my second goal which is drink more water less sodas and teas because I like really sugary teas and really sugary sodas 
um, and for the same exact reasons I need to do that. So my third one is not related to those really. Um, this one's more for weight and just, you know, becoming more comfortable with how I look. I know I am a taller girl, um, so, and I'm a little bigger built than some other girls, so I want to, but I don't have any strength. Like, I can't even do a push-up. So just for that and wanting to, you know, like my body and become comfortable with it and also just build some strength, I want to complete, now I don't know if this is going to happen, but I'm putting it on here to hold myself accountable. I want to complete three Chloe Ting challenges. Now, if you don't know who Chloe Ting is, I'm sure most of you do, she is a um, fitness influencer slash personal trainer, whatever you want to call her. Um, and she creates these workout programs online and stuff. And I've done some in the past and really enjoyed them. Felt like I was, you know, getting a lot of strength in them, but I haven't done one for two or three years and I'm feeling it. Like I'm just not where I need to be um, physically. And like my hip was hurting really bad the other day. I have actually really bad, um, a really bad neck. Um, when I was six, I was bucked off a pony and it knocked me unconscious, but I woke up a couple seconds later, my dad was right there. We checked me out, I just had some bruises and stuff. I said I was fine and like did, wouldn't go to the doctor, so they never took me to the doctor. And then um, two, three years ago, when I was 20, so like 14 years later, um, I woke up one morning at college and couldn't move my right arm, I think it was. It was stuck like this and I, every time I moved it, it felt like someone was like stabbing me, like raking a knife across me. And I like dealt with it and was like, I'm fine, whatever, for like two weeks. And then when I came over spring break, my mom was like, you need to go see like new x-rays and like see a chiropractor just in case they can do anything about it. Or we're gonna have to go to the emergency room. So I went and got x-rays at the chiropractor and then she checked my x-rays and I actually, she said there's like a severe trauma to your C5 vertebrae. Um, and I was like, what? And cause you know, they always ask you, do you have any previous injuries? And I was like, no, absolutely not. She was like, well, yeah, you do. <laughs> and showed me on the x-ray. And so what we think happened, like that's the, this is the only explanation we have of it, um, cause it's the right timeline and everything. We think whenever I got bucked off, it was kind of like whiplash and my C4 is right here, my C5 is right here. And these are her exact words. It looks like your C4 and your C5 were here. You had, when you fell, you hit your head and whiplash made your C4 like cheese grate a chunk off of your C5. So I have like a huge chip on my C5 that I didn't know about. And it causes severe disalignment and everything. Um, but anyway, there's that, um, but because of that, I really want to, I have like a lot of back problems and like neck problems and everything's always stiff and like da da and my hip has been hurting a lot recently. So I think I just need to, you know, start working out, taking better, better care of my body, um, working out, getting a little weight off because I have gained a little weight in the past year, um, just so that I don't have any complications with that, that I could personally control. So along with that chip in the next story, I also need to go to the chiropractor more. So whenever I went like two years ago almost and found this out, she told me, so I had to go twice a week for a month, had to go to the chiropractor. Sorry, I just moved my camera. Then twice, no, twice a week for a month, then once a week for a month, then every other week for a month. And then I'm supposed to go every single month to get like an alignment because she's worried about, um, arthritis <laughs> forming there um and I honestly just haven't had the time nor the finances to go <laughs> um and I've kind of like been slacking on that I haven't been doing my stretches like I need to so I need to go back start going back to the chiropractor I don't think I've gone in a year honestly maybe six months maybe I might have gone once this summer but yeah that's something I really need to do is get back into a routine of going every month making sure I have that appointment scheduled every month so that I can just have better health throughout my body. Along with health, <laughs> um, I also this year, one of my 23 goals is kind of nerdy, but it's I wanna go see an allergist. Um, if you didn't know, um, I mentioned it one or two times in my videos, I have random allergic reactions that we can't explain. Um, I will just randomly break out from head to toe in hives, um, sometimes for a day, sometimes for an hour or so. And um, sometimes, usually it, recently I've been able to like tell whenever it's coming up because it like starts to hurt if that makes sense and kind of burn on my skin and then I'll see one or two pop up like last week I had one pop up like right here and it got pretty big and like my whole arm started to get really red and every time I touched it it would like get a hive in it so I took some Benadryl and it was gone in like an hour um but I just have these random allergic reactions sometimes they only last a couple hours I had one two years ago that lasted a whole month I was broke out from head to toe in hives for a month 
um, some days would be better than others, but it was essentially a month long. Went to the um, urgent care after like two weeks and they gave me a steroid shot. Um, I had to take a steroid pack for 10 days. I was on like three different medications, da 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 They prescribed me an EpiPen, um, which I didn't end up getting because insurance doesn't cover EpiPens if you didn't know. Um, so couldn't afford that, so didn't do that. Um, but that was my personal decision. I decided not to get it. But anyway, um, so they were like, you need to go see an allergist, but guess what? Insurance usually doesn't pay for an allergist. So um, one of my 2023 goals, 2023 goals is actually to save up some money to go see an allergist to try to get that under control. Because about two months ago, I had a pretty scary reaction where my blood pressure numbers actually almost got even. They were both almost 100. Like it was almost 100 over 100. It was like one oh something over like 97 or something like that it was crazy my heart rate i was laying down um in a recliner downstairs and my heart rate was like well over 110 120 which was just really weird so um and a, half my throat went numb the other half of my mouth went numb it was like this half of my mouth and like this half of my throat it was very weird my fingers went to sleep starting here and then they would go up and go to sleep and then it went to sleep here and then it would like slowly like go away and then it would start on this side it was it was very scary um so i just want to go to an allergist to figure out what my allergies are um hopefully get an epi pen and um just you know kind of stop breaking out in hives <laughs> so yes that's the 2023 goal stop breaking out in hives now on to the fun goals so these are going to be my um first up is going to be my social media goals who i'm fancy um so one of them is to get a camera because I'm currently shooting on my iPhone 11 that I've been shooting on since I started. And um, I want to actually get a camera and, you know, be able to upload um, higher quality videos for y'all. My second goal is twofold. One, to get a thousand subscribers here on YouTube. And if I do that, I can get monetized on YouTube. If you don't know what that means, um, some YouTubers are able to make an income or a little bit of money, some side change um, through YouTube. Some of them are able to do it full time. I don't expect I'll ever get there, but I do want to be start making a little bit on YouTube because as a teacher, I don't make that much. So my goal for 2022 is to get a thousand subscribers at least so that I can, can then become monetized. However, I do have a separate subscriber goal. I want to get 5,000 subscribers this year. I know you're, what you're thinking. It's kind of crazy, but... I have never been really consistent on YouTube. It's always been like, I'll post one this month, one in a couple more months. I'll do like two weeks of doing really good and then I'll disappear for six months. So I want to start being more consistent. Um, and I actually, like I already said in this video, I started my first um, affiliate um, marketing thing, like a sponsorship deal. So I wanna start doing more of that to hopefully get a little more income so that I can you know, decorate my classroom crazy like I like to and stuff like that. Um, also I would love to get, um, be more active on other social platforms. If you didn't know, I did start a teacher Instagram. I will put it right here for you. It's the new Instagram with my intro and outro. If you didn't realize I changed those as well. Sorry, someone just came in the door. Um, but I want to be more, um, present on Instagram, on my teacher gram, if you want to say that. Um, so yeah, I'll, I will have put it somewhere on the screen at some point, hopefully. Um, as well as I did start a TikTok and it's really fun, really short and sweet. So um, I'll put that here. I want to get a little bit of a following on that. You know, maybe get like a thousand followers on each of those. I know that's kind of a crazy number, but you never know, you never know. So in order to reach those subscriber goals and follower goals and you know, all that kind of goals, I am gonna have a goal for myself to hold myself accountable. I want to have a new posting schedule starting January 1st. Starting January 1st, I'm going to be posting weekly, hopefully, three times a week at least, on YouTube on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Now, because I like to do daily vlogs rather than, you know, um, weekly vlogs or, you know, two-day vlogs and stuff like that, I'm hoping um, that I'll be able to do more than that on YouTube per week, but I'm not going to promise it because I don't want to promise it and then not be able to keep up with it. So, for now, we're going to see my posting schedule is... Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with a few extra bonus videos every now and then. So YouTube Shorts, I really like how one of mine went. Um, it seemed to go very well. So I'm hoping to maybe post one or two of those a week. I'm not gonna have a schedule for those though because I just won't know. Um, however, I am gonna have a schedule also as well as just for YouTube full-length content. 
I'm gonna also have um, a schedule for my Instagram and TikTok posting. So on Instagram, I'm gonna post on opposite days that I don't post on YouTube. So I'm gonna post on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays on my Instagram. Now those will either be a photo or a reel or both, I won't know, as well as I'm gonna try to post a little more on my story on there as well. Lastly, my TikTok schedule is gonna be actually the same as my um, YouTube upload schedule. It's gonna be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, just cause I find it's kind of easier that way. Um, so I, but on all of that, I could do extra. So the second to last category is my fun category of um, goals for 2023. And there is my fun category. So um, I think being a teacher can be really stressful and just kind of in any profession right now, it's really stressful to have to go to work every day and you know, come home and like still, you know, try to like separate work from home. So in order to do that, um, I have a few fun goals that I'm labeling just to kind of make sure that I have that time to decompress and have a life outside of teaching. So this year, so if you didn't know, I love going to Disney World, love it. So this year I already have one Disney trip planned for spring break with my mom and it's just gonna be me and her. I'm hoping to vlog it, but my goal this year is to have at least one Disney trip and right now I have it planned. So I really want to do more, but just, you know, finances. I don't know how that's gonna turn out. But so my fun goal, number one is at least one Disney trip this year. My fun goal number two is, this This one's like a, uh, I don't know if it'll actually happen. It's just like a suggestion for a goal for me that I'm like, this would be a nice bonus goal to hit. It would be to either go on a cruise or go to the beach on a trip. My last fun goal is one that I really hope I can do because I think it will really help me um, throughout this like stressful school year that I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna have. Um, I'm trying to like stay positive that it's not gonna be that stressful, but the last two weeks were really, really bad. I'm not gonna lie, and they were really stressful. So in order to kind of not get burnt out, I'm gonna have at least one fun night every two weeks. It'll probably honestly just be like a movie night with my cousin, a movie night with my sister, um, going on a shopping trip on a Saturday with my sister or something like that. But um, just like one night or one full day where I don't think at all about school. So yeah, that's my big fun goal is at least one fun day or night every two weeks. Maybe even every week if I need it, but at least every two weeks. So my last round of goals is my last one. I actually only have one goal for this. These are my spiritual goals. And while there are a lot of things that make up this goal, I feel like a lot of it you can't really measure. And I feel like I'll never meet my spiritual goal because my spiritual goal is to grow. Um, I'm not going to put a number on that because I know there are multiple things throughout the year um, and just in life that like will never like I'll only meet my spiritual goal when I've died and gone to heaven honestly so my goal this year is to just continue continue growing if I falter you know get back up and keep going that kind of thing um, so I'm not going to talk like a lot on that because like that's kind of really, really, really personal. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, just stay consistent in my Bible reading and prayer and um, continue growing my relationship with him. So those are my 2023 goals. I don't think I've missed anything. This has been a crazy long video. I'm so sorry. But if you liked it, don't forget to leave a like below and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all the content that will be going, ugh, that will be coming, not going, that will be coming soon. Um, and also leave me your goals down below so that I can hear about them. All right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in 2023.